In this video, we're gonna be using Mike's Natural Soap Orange Bergamot and Ylang Ylang and the Thorn Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using one of the old greats. This is Mike's Natural Soap. This is Bergamot Orange and Ylang Ylang. And this is a really nice uh, smelling soap. The cost on this, is $15 for five ounces, or it comes to a very good $3 per ounce on our cost chart. Uh, this soap smells really, really nice. Let's give it a whiff. And there's a look at it, by the way. It is, uh, I'd say it's more on the firm side, not super soft, but also not the hardest. Really nice scent, and it's described, I think, rather accurately on the label, which is bergamot, orange, and ylang ylang. Ylang ylang, something like that. <laughs> anyway, um, smells great. Scent strength. Maybe just a hair under medium or that entry level of medium. Really, really nice scent. Um, we'll put the ingredients for you right there. And if you were to say to me, Mike's Natural Soaps is and has been one of the best soaps on the market for you know 10 years, I wouldn't argue with you. This doesn't get the attention it deserves. It is an old school grade and probably a lot of the artisans today wouldn't be around if not for Mike's because Mike's really led the way. It's been around a long time. Still great stuff. Some some folks don't like the simplicity of the uh, the label and tub, but uh, I don't really mind it. The ingredients on the bottom, you have the scent on the front, the duck. Um, I don't mind it at all. It used to come, of course, in tins, and the label wasn't waterproof. I didn't care for that. Um, but Mike's Natural Soap is a legitimately good soap. If you haven't tried it, I encourage you to give it a try. Okay, the razor for today. Now you might have seen this one before on the channel, which is the Twig by Leaf. This particular version is called the, well, the sort of code name, or it's not an official name, it's called the Thorn, because this one has another 0.2 millimeters in blade gap, and what they're calling 0.18 millimeters in span. And I don't know if they mean span, meaning you're getting more of the blade this way, like you're actually, it's a little bit wider, or if they mean blade gap. So Adams, one of the Adams, if you see this video, please comment below on what you mean by span, because I don't know what that means. But anyway, this one is supposed to be more efficient and I've seen it marketed, marketed like on Agent Shave in the UK as the aggressive version of the Twig. I love the Twig Razor, it's awesome, but I expect to really like this one because if this brings a little more efficiency, it's gonna be awesome. It has a really great loading mechanism. You twist the bottom, it comes up and around and you lay a half DE blade. And as you can see here, I'm using a feather today and that mark means it's had one shave on it. It's got some magnets right here and you just drop that half D blade right in there. Well, it's easier to do when you're not trying to do it on a cam. But anyway, you drop it in there and the uh, magnet sort of holds it in place and then it rotates back down and into place like so. And this particular uh, color is called the prism. And there is a look at the thorn using it for the first time. So we're looking forward to that today. Let's get into it. We're gonna miss the face here and again, if you haven't seen the last couple days videos, I was out doing yard work the other day. <laughs> it came in, I had those two spots. I'm not sure what happened there. If I had a piece of brush or something hit my face or who knows. Maddie Lindholm mentioned that it happened last year too. So who in the heck knows? When I'm doing work outside, sometimes I'm, you know, kind of careless getting into things. <laughs> anyway, let's lather up. And the lather on this is really nice. The brush for today, by the way, is AP Shave Co. Handcrafted Series. This uh, design, I think, is called uh, Moon Java, the uh, color pattern, and it's very nice. And boy, this is a nice smelling and nice lathering soap. Again, Mike's has had a great soap for years and years, and the formula still holds up today. Now, Mike's is not, you know, they're not super active in the community. They never really have been. They've, they just simply put their products out quietly, and they are good, and they don't make a bunch of promises about, you know, um, doing all these things for your skin or making you look younger. They just develop a very good quality shaving soap and provide it to you at a reasonable, a very reasonable price. And they have been doing it for, I want to say maybe longer, but somewhere around 10 years or longer. And they're one of the sort of original artisans. And again, all the artisans of today should be looking back to some of these old school artisans and you know, being thankful because they led the way. They created this craze that is now artisanal 
shaving soaps. And without them, the others would not exist. And Mike's had a huge role in that. So I'm always mindful of that when I'm using Mike's. And honestly, this formula holds up. It's as good as anything produced today, even the, the newest and swankiest of soaps. In terms of the shave, being slick, lathering well, taking hydration, Mike's is still excellent. And you, you could, if one argued and said, I didn't need anything more than what Mike's offered in terms of a shaving soap, I would not argue with you because it's sort of the way I feel about it. Okay, let's get going with the thorn. And again, that's sort of a street name. And yeah, I think I can feel a little more blade there. That feels nice, actually. That feels very nice indeed. And I tend to favor more efficient razors anyway. Um, and so this one was sort of, Tailor made for me because I do favor blade feel and I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm feeling more. You know, I will do a comparison where I'm using the twig against the thorn just to feel them side by side. I will do that probably in a couple days. But today I just wanted to use the thorn and see how it goes. And by the way, the good folks at Leaf, they sent this to me. Um, I reached out to Adam and I was like, hey, I've been told there's a more aggressive version of the twig. Where can I buy one? And he said, would you, would you like to try it? And I said, sure, I'd love to. And so he sent that. So always take that into consideration. And I'll always tell you if something is sent to me for evaluation. I mean, man, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Um, again, I do favor more efficient razors. And I think I'm feeling more blade feel with this than the regular twig. And so that's a very good thing for me. Um, I have not seen this razor on their website. However, some vendors have had it. Like I said, uh, Agent Shave, they don't have any in stock now, but they had some. Um, so it completely slipped by me. I, I did not know that this razor existed until a viewer asked me had I tried the thorn. I was like, thorn? What's the thorn? I'm out in the dark on this one. <laughs> and uh, I'm a big fan of what Leaf does and the way they do it, they bring a lot of traditional shavers to the hobby via the Leaf Razor um, and now the twig. And for me, I'm gonna tell you right now, the twig, it's the best half DE shaver that I've ever used. Um, I really like it. It's smooth, yet efficient, feels good in the hand. Um, and that first pass was really nice. Nothing at all to complain about there. And, that's what I expected, honestly. I expected this to feel really nice. It feels quite nimble. It's a little chunky in the bottom of the handle, but it still comes off feeling very nimble because of that small head. So I really like the, the twig razor and I'm liking this thorn. And look at that lather there with Mike's. And I, oh, by the way, I did put a couple of uh, Sterling Frost Drops in here to add just a little bit of menthol. So we expect in past two and three to, to get a little bit of cooling. Yeah, I think menthol works very well with these citrus soaps. Um, and they feel great. And I just, I don't know, now is the season. Even though it hasn't been super warm the last few days. We, we've had a, a, um, a wild spring because it got quite warm in March. You know, 80 degrees Fahrenheit plus. Then in April, it was sort of back and forth. It actually snowed in May, which almost never happens. That's extremely unusual. And as you can see, they're really nice lather and then it snowed at the beginning of may and then we had some nice weather last weekend and then it's gotten a little bit cool like you know 50s 60s fahrenheit during the day um and normally it's a little warmer than that normally by now we are regularly you know we're at least in the 70s during the day and the last week or so has been under that in the 60s if you're in the sun you know you'll, you'll hit that 70 mark but the flat temperature has been you know, 60s, 50s, been rather cool. And so spring has been rather unusual for us because usually once you hit that May mark, it might get cool at night, but in the days it's, you know, we're in the 70s and 80s typically. And so let's not fool around all day with the ladder. That's going to be plenty good enough. All right, let's the handle off and get back to it with our twig. Again, whenever I went mentioned the, uh, the leaf razor or twig, I always mention all the marketing they do all over social media, Instagram, on websites, 
The leaf and twig was also featured on the Today Show. That is great for our hobby, for people to be seeing these razors. And what happens is maybe they get one of these and then they buy soap and then they happen upon these videos and they see us using all these traditional products. And next thing you know, we have another traditional style shaver and that's a great thing. And so for me, that's incredibly valuable to the hobby. Um, companies like Leaf and Supply. And I say that every time because a lot of times um, when I mention that, someone will comment in the comments, this is how I came to traditional shaving too. But I saw the, the Leaf or the Twig or the Supply Razor. And next thing you know, I was watching videos and then I was buying artisanal soaps and I was buying brushes and I was hooked. And so that's, that's a great, great thing for our hobby as far as I'm concerned. And I, I am very much liking the thorn. It is going to get a thumbs up, assuredly, because... Now, still, I wouldn't call this... Uh, I wouldn't call this super aggressive. Like, I would not call this a an aggressive razor, like, say, the Sterling D eraser or the Yaki Knight Helmet or something. It's not that level. But this is definitely well within the... In terms of blade feel... This is definitely well within the medium range. I think the the regular twig is knocking on the door of medium. And this one is firmly within the range of medium to me, keeping in mind that what I think is aggressive and not might be a little different from you. Because I do favor some blade feel. So, but this one to me is firmly in the medium range. You can definitely feel the blade doing its work. And I rather enjoy that. So the, uh, the the thorn, which is a version of the twig for me, would be uh, my preferred razor. But we will use these side by side in the next couple of days. And what I might do is reach out to uh, the Adams from Leaf and see if I can buy a another color. Because this color, although I like it, it's not sort of my style. I prefer to have black or something like that. I might reach out to one of the Adams and see if I can buy a black one and uh, maybe put this up for, for giveaway for you all. So we'll see if I can do that. And again, I like to I like to thank the viewers. And so we, we try to keep a giveaway going. We have one going on right now from the other day. So go check that out. And by the way, don't forget to check out um, last year I interviewed one of the Adams. I believe it was Adam Simone, I want to say. I apologize if I'm wrong on that, but... Uh, interviewed Adam. I'll put pop that up in one of the corners there for you. Um, but I hope you'll complete this video first. Anyway, did an interview with him and we talked about leaf and he showed the leaf and then talked about the twig, which at that time had not launched yet. And that was a nice spot. So please check that out. I do have a playlist with spotlights. And now since we've been doing spotlights on Real Talk, um, I put those in the uh, play, the, I put the Real Talk episodes on YouTube and uh, they'll be in the playlist for traditional shaving spotlight where we talk to artisans and soap makers and vendors and we try to do one of those every couple weeks or so and we've been having fun the most recent one I did was uh, this past Friday night with uh, above the time really nice people at above the time Matt and Mariah and if you haven't seen that one I'll pop a pop up a card here if you're interested in above the time and they are just very down to earth people. And so check out that spot if you will, if you wanna know what Bob the Tie is up to and what the people who are running it now are, are like. Um, get to know them a little bit. Very nice people, can tell you that right now, as are the Adams from uh, Leaf. Very nice. All right. Tell you what, this mics, it's still got it. Um, for me, it provides everything that I need in a soap. And it does so at a very reasonable price. I mean, in the day where soaps are six, seven dollars an ounce, Mike's is still, still there at that three dollar an ounce level, giving me everything I need. It's really incredible what Mike's has done over the years and done pretty quietly. And so again, I, I think the the artisans who are now, you know, making soaps have popped up within the last few years. Oh, the artisans have been doing it quite some time. A debt of gratitude because if not for those folks leading the way, taking the risks 
and sort of breaking through because uh, there are lots more hobbyists who are into artisanal wares now than there were 10 years ago. And the folks who uh, led the way really opened the door. And that's the same with, you know, pretty much any sort of product. There are folks who lead the way and then the others say, hey, I, you know, I have an idea on that and they get started as well. And so I think we all <laughs> owe Mike's our respect and appreciation for their contribution. And they're still making great products. Today, uh, a long time ago, when you got Mike's, you had to order just from his uh, website, which is pretty simple website. And he dropped them like once a week or every once every couple of weeks. And now they're available at the vendors and stock list, which is really, really nice. So you can pick them up at the Razor Company or Maggard or, you know, West Coast Shaving or whatever. So that's always cool. And I tell you what, it's still good quality stuff today. And when it comes to the label, really the only things that turn me off about labels is if the, like if the label is coming off the tub, like it doesn't adhere to the tub properly, I don't like that. If the label is missing information, in other words, it doesn't have the brand, it doesn't have the quantity, it doesn't have the ingredients on it or the name of the soap, I don't like that. I look to labels for information and Mike's has all the information on it. So I don't have any problem at all with the information nor the simplistic design. As long as it has the information and it's not all banged up and beat up, I'm happy with it. Now I do like some labels better than others. You know, some labels are more attractive for sure, but I won't not use a soap because of a simplistic uh, label. However, I don't like it when they're beat up and the stickers coming off and it's, it's you know, it's just, there's, there doesn't appear to be care in the application of the label. I don't care for that. That sort of turns me off. So that's just my feelings on that. Now there are people like Fish Sharp David, he gets real wound up about the labels <laughs> and the tubs looking a certain way, but I'm not one of those people. I just want the information and I want it to be in good condition so I can show this product the way the artisan intended and it's not all beat up and banged up and so on. All right, that was excellent. The first round with the thorn, big thumbs up. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse, removed the soap. We applied the alum, no stinging. So that was a super smooth shave. We did a cold water rinse and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel and then applied the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's which has a cucumber just in a spray bottle. And a reminder, links for the products used today will be below. The first run with the thorn by leaf or twig, the aggressive version of the twig, big thumbs up. I loved it. I will do a comparison side by side with the thorn and the regular twig, uh, probably in a few days or so. Uh, I really enjoyed this first run with the thorn. Really, really nice. I appreciated it very much. The Mike's Natural Soap, uh, bergamot orange and ylang ylang, big thumbs up. Mike's still a great soap. It runs with pretty much everything out there, even today. Uh, really, really nice, simple, but great. Uh, our AP Shave Co. Handcrafted Series was awesome. We're gonna close it out today with another great Sterling Orange Chill, uh, just to get the, the day going in great fashion. We'll get a little bit of this zip from the, the menthol and we're gonna be off to the races and running hard and having a great Monday and I hope wherever you are, you have a great Monday as well. Thanks so much for joining us. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way and as always, God bless.